Remember July 19th, 2024? No? Well, for a hot minute there, the world basically stopped working. We're talking internet down, systems crashing, the whole shebang. Why? Because of a teeny tiny software update gone wrong. Turns out, even in our fancy tech-filled world, all it takes is one bad line of code to bring everything crashing down. Kind of makes you miss the good old days of dial-up, doesn't it? No, not really. The culprit this time, CrowdStrike, yes, the cybersecurity firm. Ironic, isn't it? They pushed out a faulty update for their Falcon platform, which is used by a gazillion companies, including some really big names. Problem was, this update didn't play nice with Microsoft Windows, which, let's be honest, is like half the computers on the planet. So, what started as a seemingly small hiccup quickly snowballed into a global IT meltdown of epic proportions. Buckle up, kids, because it's about to get bumpy. CrowdStrike. They're supposed to be the good guys, the digital knights in shining armor protecting us from the evils of the internet. But on July 19th, they accidentally became the dragon. Their faulty update, meant to protect against malware, ended up doing more harm than good. Think of it like this. They were trying to install a new lock on your front door, but instead they accidentally bricked up the entire house. Now, to be fair, CrowdStrike did scramble to fix the issue as fast as they could, but the damage was done. The internet, that magical realm of cat videos and online shopping, was plunged into chaos. The outage was a stark reminder that even the best intentions can go horribly wrong, especially when you're dealing with something as complex and interconnected as the internet. It also highlighted the uncomfortable truth that our reliance on a handful of tech giants makes us incredibly vulnerable. Imagine this. You're at the airport about to jet off on that long-awaited vacation when suddenly the screens go blank. No boarding announcements, no gate changes, just silence and confusion. That's exactly what happened at airports around the world on July 19th. Airlines, those behemoths of the sky, were grounded, their systems knocked offline by the CrowdStrike glitch. Delta Airlines, one of the biggest airlines in the world, had to delay hundreds of flights. Hong Kong Express, a major player in Asia, was also hit hard. And let's not forget the airports themselves. Vancouver International Airport, Prague Airport, even the glitzy Dubai International Airport all experienced major disruptions. The travel chaos was a stark reminder of just how reliant we've become on technology, even for something as seemingly low-tech as flying. Remember cash? That paper stuff we used to trade for goods and services? Well, on July 19th, it suddenly became very valuable again. The global IT outage wreaked havoc on the financial sector. Banks, those institutions we entrust with our hard-earned money, were suddenly unable to process transactions. ATMs turned into glorified paperweights. Credit card readers, useless. In Britain, people were forced to raid their piggy banks as card payments went down. Supermarkets, those temples of consumerism, had to resort to good old-fashioned cash transactions. Even casinos, those havens of risk and reward, were impacted with some forced to close their doors. The outage exposed the fragility of our financial systems and served as a wake-up call about the potential consequences of a cashless society gone wrong. Section 5. France Goes Dark, a media blackout. While the rest of the world was grappling with grounded planes and cashless transactions, France faced a different kind of crisis, a media blackout. Major French TV channels, including the likes of TF1 and France televisions, went dark as their systems crashed. Newspapers struggled to publish online. It was like stepping back in time to the pre-internet era, when information traveled at the speed of print. The blackout highlighted the vulnerability of our media infrastructure and the potential for disruption in an increasingly digital world. It also raised concerns about the spread of misinformation and the importance of reliable news sources, especially during times of crisis. Section 6, The Domino Effect, How One Glitch Brought Down the World. The July 19th outage wasn't just a bunch of isolated incidents, it was a domino effect, a chain reaction that rippled across the globe, exposing the interconnectedness of our digital world. Think of the internet as a giant spiderweb. Each strand represents a different system, a different company, a different part of our digital lives. Now imagine someone taking a giant pair of scissors and snipping one of those strands. The entire web shudders, and depending on where that cut was made, 
the consequences can be catastrophic. That's what happened on July 19th. CrowdStrike's faulty update was the metaphorical scissors and the global IT outage was the unraveling web. Airlines, banks, media companies, even government agencies, all connected, all vulnerable. The outage was a stark reminder that in our interconnected world, a single point of failure can have global consequences. Section 7 Cybersecurity, a house of cards. The July 19th outage wasn't just a technical glitch, it was a cybersecurity wake up call. It exposed the vulnerabilities in our digital infrastructure and the very real threat of cyber attacks. Think about it. If a simple software update can bring the world to its knees, imagine what a well coordinated cyber attack could do. We're talking about everything from financial markets to power grids to military systems all potentially vulnerable to disruption. The outage highlighted the importance of robust cybersecurity measures, from regular software updates and testing to employee training and incident response plans. It also underscored the need for international cooperation and information sharing to combat the growing threat of cybercrime. The economic fallout from the July 19th outage was swift and significant. Airlines lost millions from cancelled flights. Businesses were forced to close their doors. Consumers were left frustrated and unable to access essential services. The outage exposed just how reliant we've become on the internet for everything from communication and commerce to transportation and entertainment. It also highlighted the fragility of the global economy, which is increasingly interconnected and dependent on digital technologies. The outage served as a wake-up call for governments and businesses alike, highlighting the need for greater investment in IT infrastructure, cybersecurity and crisis management planning. It also raised questions about the long-term sustainability of our current economic model, which relies heavily on just-in-time supply chains and interconnected digital systems. So, what did we learn from this whole global IT meltdown? A lot, actually. First and foremost, we learned that even the most basic software updates need to be rigorously tested before being unleashed upon the world. It's like that old saying, measure twice, cut once, or in this case, test a thousand times, release once. Second, communication is key. During the outage, many companies were slow to acknowledge the problem or provide updates, leaving customers frustrated and confused. In the age of social media, silence is not an option. Third, redundancy is our friend. Having backup systems in place can mean the difference between a minor inconvenience and a full-blown catastrophe. It's like having a spare tire in your car. You hope you never need it, but you're damn glad it's there when you do. The July 19th outage wasn't just a problem for CrowdStrike or Microsoft, it was a problem for uh, everyone, and that's why collaboration is so important. Tech companies need to work together to share information about potential vulnerabilities and coordinate their response to incidents. Governments need to work with the private sector to develop industry standards and regulations. And individuals need to stay informed and take steps to protect themselves online. The outage highlighted the need for a more collaborative approach to cybersecurity, one that recognises the interconnectedness of our digital world and the shared responsibility we all have in keeping it safe and secure. The July 19th global IT outage was a wake-up call. It exposed the vulnerabilities in our digital infrastructure, the fragility of our interconnected world and the very real threat of cyber attacks but it also presented an opportunity. An opportunity to learn from our mistakes, to build more resilient systems, and to create a more secure and stable digital future. This means investing in robust cybersecurity measures, promoting international cooperation, and fostering a culture of awareness and preparedness. It means recognizing that our reliance on technology comes with a responsibility to protect it, to use it wisely, and to ensure that it serves humanity, not the other way around. The future of IT is not about building bigger and faster systems. It's about building smarter, more resilient and more secure systems. It's about creating a digital world that is not only innovative and efficient, but also safe, reliable and equitable for all. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13